what is the method of acting contrary or do exactly opposite as you or everyone used to? For a start, it's important to have a look. How I work always? What is my usual way of acting? And try to break it. Watch my video till the end and I will share with you a very important method that I use myself. This shooting process I filmed three years ago. I'm here at the beginning of the isolation period and I don't know when it will end. It's half winter and I'm trying different practices to help me deal with uncertainty. I don't know that at the end of one period and the beginning of another there will be wars, crises and the world and it will affect a lot of different aspects of our lives and art world as well. It will bring more uncertainty and a state of internal expectation of change for the better. In that moment I intuitively launched my cosmic project, which is proactive to me. One good friend of mine told me what the space could be like when such things happen on ears. And I've been debating this with him mentally all this time. Perhaps my space is not about uh, science fiction or imaginary worlds, not about a better future as much as I want it. It's about cyclicity, about the microscopic nature of us in the universe about doing our daily research and creative work. When I took this first test cosmic still life, I went into an experiment based on natural materials. Not plastic and metal, and all that is usually associated with all science fiction. It seems that artists have been opposing nature and space since the, the 20th century. Nature in art is often linked with the past, old and classic, and the cosmos is focused on the future and new technologies, but the space is nature. Out of space or cosmos, alternative name for the universe, or it's nature of order. It's not a completely empty space. Nature is considered the material world of our planet, not created by human. But if there is a material world on any planet, then there is nature everywhere. Well, the space for me is the Earth, it's us, it's a combination and contradiction, coexistence. And the most importantly, it's very small and huge. All the cosmic scale problems are fixable with the microscopic steps. Everyday life, daily work. By understanding that everything, it's easy to experience any uncertainty, any instability. Because stability is an illusion and all we have to do is to follow nature and our own cycles, creating our own daily routine. Time is linear only in our consciousness, so it's not surprising that we always want to move forward, live tomorrow.
Well, I introduce you to the method. In short, break your habit. If you like to plan and work on preparated ideas and sketches, cancel it. Feel the mood for experiment and go into it. If you love spontaneity and unplanned acting, there is no final vision and you always work in this way. Intuition moves you, mood, inspiration and improvisation. Cancel it. Try to plan and act by structure. Make and follow clear instructions. Then choose a theme and composition. Take something unusual. Try to combine, not combined or choose unpopular. Choose a theme and go to Pinterest and type it in. The research will give you the simplest and the most popular associations. How artists and photographers usually work with the theme. The most common images and creative ways. Go and create a contradiction. If you tend to use some specific light in photography or color palette in painting, choose something totally different. Our brain will still turn us on the usual tracks. And even if your experiment seems bold to you, believe me, it will be visible only to you. Do you usually draw or shoot other models? Choose yourself this time. Always choose yourself. Take and animate things. Do you love minimalism? Sketch out a lot of details. The principle is clear. Break down your own stereotype. Slightly destroy the pattern of behavior. Many of us criticize AI for images creating with its help being similar to each other and because it's easy to see that they were not created by a living person. But if we take a particular artist, we find that everyone's variations and modes of expressions are limited, strongly limited. Our brain works on the same principle. We accumulate images, skills, combinations, and all this is endlessly mixing. The wider the palette of images and skills we have, the easy to experiment new. Why do we need always new? Of course, for growth and development. We can repeat the same things and hone the skill, but there is a limit to the skill. Next stage, you want to go into some experiment, but if the brain isn't used to experimenting, then it will prevaricate. Give yourself a challenge to act unusual time to time. Just make a plan to have some experiments a year without any expectation. Probably for your first time, you will have no interest in the result. This is just an exercise.
Back to outer space. The realization that I am a cell of the universe and have my function and my daily responsibilities frees me from destructive thoughts. Of course, not completely, but exactly. It allows me to live catching beautiful and scary things in the world around. To just accept that. I mentally returned to myself three years ago. It feels like 30 years have passed so much and so little has been done. Never enough. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Thank you.